blasting, like the skate beat, got its start in Europe in the early 80s with bands such as Napalm Death and the early grindcore scene. It wasn't until the blast beat made its way to the United States that we really saw it start to take the form that it's in today. Drummers like Pete Sandoval of Terrorizer at the time, later Morbid Angel, made blasting a structured beat by giving it time signature. Until then, it was just blasting for the sake of noise, a white noise kind of effect, if you will. There's four main variations of the blast beats, the traditional blast, the bomb blast, hammer blast, and the freehand blast. Traditional blasting, as we said before, is a single stroke roll broken between a hand and a foot played in extremely fast tempo. Here's an example. Okay, now, this is just one way a traditional blast can be played. Here's a couple of other examples. <laughs> 